Hello, self, and whoever happens to stumble across this video. Unfortunately, we don't have a natural light source because it's nighttime. I have this nice fire going. It's beautiful, isn't it? Fire's always been a bit of a friend of mine in a way. I noticed that fire is magnetic and my body is magnetic because when I put my hand near the candle, the candle would bend towards my hand. <clears throat> so one of my darling wives suggested I burn this picture here. <clears throat> well, and I guess she meant it. And the feedback on this picture was good design, nice figure. We could use some reference. Like the face in the rocks and figures, could use more contrasts. <clears throat> I think for what it is, it's excellent. Artist friend of mine made this. You see, sex is a big thing. I think now with this like coronavirus, I think people's fertility is going to go up. Because even though people are stressed, they will settle into a sense of calm. and there will be a baby boom. And that's really exciting. Get some new, you know, new life, new start. I've been out here with a fire and playing for a while, so yeah, I'm a little sweaty. But I did this uh, book report <coughs> in school on uh, Moby Dick. And uh, it was a scene about the waves and the uh, the cannons, and I after class made it, uh, uh, you know, said to my teacher, if uh, I said that to me, there was some something sexual in the way the ocean and the the guns were described, and uh, you know he's a dude like me, so he probably didn't want to get into a big conversation about it, but he did seem to, even though we disagreed, I could see that he agreed, you know. If I'd been a chick, maybe he would have been a little more receptive to the conversation. I don't blame him either. So, but what I saw was this. Location, location, location. It's like real estate. And I said, I said to him, my friend, who, because I'm such a controversial figure, is always been rather anonymous um, I said to him you know that kind of that arm kind of looks like a penis and he said well if you stare at it long enough something phallic is bound to jump out at you and I think he was thinking the same thing why did, how did the teacher not feel comfortable enough in his own sexuality to you know say that's a interesting phallic symbol you snuck into your artwork there you know but he didn't the teacher did not say that I am certain because I just read the comments made by the teacher and it's an interesting thing about being a teacher and an artist so this picture is going to burn tonight it's been brought to my attention it's uh, dark and uh, 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna put this in the fire, I guess. Nothing particularly ceremonial about it. Maybe you can get the get the old girl to light up. She deserves it. Why do I assume it's a she? Through the fire. It does look like Lucifer from the Vatican, doesn't it? That is an enormous release of energy. Looks like tapestry. And you know, he gave me that picture like it was, like it meant either everything or nothing to him. <clears throat> because of who I am, whoever I am, wherever I am, wherever we are. Because of the artist world being kind of small and him working with Stephen King's son, Joe Hill. I have uh, respected his request. Look at some of it's still intact. See, that's a testament to the resilience of art. See, that, that masterpiece, to me, it was a masterpiece. That art will endure now on video. And it was sacrificed. It was made sacred in the fire. When we sacrifice things, when we make them sacred, we tend to associate with things like that. Burial rituals, you know, things like death and darkness and fire. And I suppose some good, but we usually call them celebrations. But there were at times in Earth's history, rites of passage and rituals which were pleasant, like sexual initiation rites and practices, for example, the likes of which, due to the complexity of the life I lived, I really wouldn't advertise, you know, but then it's, it's tricky too because that's how secret societies start and cults and people who know things other people don't know. But if you give knowledge to everyone, sometimes it, uh, they just don't like it anyway, you know, like if I know the future. 
And people know I know the future, and I tell them the future. Does it change the future? I don't know. Or I do know. Do I know? No. It's irrelevant. I've been in darkness my whole life. I lived under stairs like I was uh, Harry Potter. There's a lot of similarities between Harry Potter and myself, as well as uh, many other so called. Uh, Fictional characters like Malachi and the Lost Symbol, <clears throat> for example. I could say more about the woman in the painting. I could say, well, I mean, when I say it like that, it sounds like I'm saying something profound or interesting. But to me, I just like the idea of rising out of darkness. I mean, you know if you live in darkness or you live in light. And uh, people say love and light, and I've always said love and darkness. Because I like love in the dark. Maybe with a candle. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. I guess it just depends on how you look at things sometimes. Maybe that makes all the difference. But then again, I don't know. I remember spinning, here's something fun. That was me spinning in circles. Like a whirling dervish. Go to the beach sometime. And look up at the stars. It has to be a starry night. And look up and spin. And while you're spinning, continue looking up. And you may see all the stars come swirling down to you. I did. I did. And I fell. Thank God. I had to get here somehow, right? <laughs> So, funny thing about falling to earth, you know, like, it's a falling angel. It's like, oh yeah, how'd it get here? It flew. Where did it come from? Heaven. And I just wonder why everyone on earth seems to be scared of angels. You know? Well, not everyone. Maybe not even most people. But I guess it's very special to me, so I wanted to share it with you.